what is going on, Indianapolis? I'm Tolan. Not Big Ben. We are the Do It Indie Guys. Welcome to this week's top five urban events going on for the week of August 1st through the 7th, 2011. We are filming at our official bar of Do It Indie, Cy Green's Pub. It's at uh, 10th and Emerson. It's a beautiful place. You know, I mean, we love Cy Green's. You can't get any better than this. And I'll tell you, they have a little bit of something for everyone. They have good food, good drinks, and I'll tell you, just. Jam and Joe on the weekends. Friday, Saturday is Jam and Joe here spinning the tunes, so you definitely check it out. All right. It's just south of you know I-70, so with that said, let's go ahead and get into this week's top five urban events. What's number five, Ben? All right, number five, we always cover these every month, and this month is like no other. First Friday art tours, and I'll tell you, this weekend we are highlighting Friday, uh, first Friday at the Art Bank on Mass Ave. There are going to be over 20 artists, free food and drink, and this month the featured artist who made her debut at Orange uh, in 2009 is Danielle J. Smith. I'll tell you, she has some really excellent work. I checked her stuff out. But I'll tell you, you know, it's just going to be a good time, you know, lots of people, food, drink, and art. And at the end of the parking lot, which is a really cool added bonus, they're going to have several local crafters from the Indianapolis area. So. Awesome. For more information on this event and First Friday at the Art Bank, visit www.artbankgallery.com and you can also find them on Facebook. So, number five, First Friday at the Art Bank. Number four. Number four, we've got Abate Region 11. They're sponsoring a bike ride called ABC 2011 Bike Ride. At the Slippery Noodle right downtown at 10 a.m. is the sign up. The actual ride starts at noon. It takes place Saturday at August 6th, and there's a $20 minimum donation. But gets you. But you can donate more if you want to, of course. It's going to get you a free t shirt, food, of course, include the ride, and also get you a nice patch. Nice. You know, make you official there. So, Got uh, it. There's going to have live entertainment, all kinds of fun. And this is uh, is going for a special cause for the kids of the uh, Hoosier Burn Camp. So definitely a great cause. For more information about this event, go to abateofindiana.org. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, hey, and that's why we're doing this live. All right, number three, we're <laughs> going to get into this. The 2011 Gen Con Gaming Convention. This Thursday, August 4th through Sunday, August 7th, at the Indiana Convention Center downtown, it's going to be the best, awesomest geek gamer fanboy convention that is in the world. Geeks you know? unite from all hey, around. You know, you got Comic Con last week, and now everybody's coming to Gen Con here in right. Indianapolis. So you're going to have games, symposiums, an art show, costume contest, film contest, contest, and more. You know, there just really is something for everyone. And if you've never experienced this event or even been to downtown Indianapolis for Gen Con, I'll tell you, you have to check it out. It's a lot of fun. Definitely great people watching. Oh man, absolutely. <laughs> you never know what you're going to see. Right. Hey, for more information about Gen Con, a schedule of events, who's going to be what and where, visit www.gencon.com and you can also find them on Facebook and Twitter. So number three, 2011 Gen Con convention. Number two. Number two, we've got Neon Love Life uh, is going to premiere their video, their brand new video. Also, this night they're going to announce the Tonic Ball, what the theme is going to be this year. going to be an awesome event. It takes place Friday, August 5th, 6.30 to 9.30 p.m. at Radio Radio right down in Fountain Square. It's free, so there's no cover charge, so you can't beat that. And their new video, Neon Love Lights new video, is called Love Control. It's awesome. very cool, directed video. The song's awesome. So. And it features a lot of local uh, people. From, right. You know, they open it up to the public, yes. which is awesome. By millions. Yeah, for more information about this event, you can go to futureshock.net. There's also going to be two other bands there uh, called Red Light Driver and also Kate Lamont, the two other local bands there. So, And you can also check these other other, the other, all the bands out on Facebook and Twitter, and uh, you know that's number two, Neon Love Lights video premiere. So all right. that leads us to number one. All right, number one, RickyLeePots.com presents six bands for six bucks. This Saturday, August 6th, at Birdie's Bar and Grill at 71st and Keystone, you can come and see local sponsors, local bands, and just cool people for only six dollars. I mean, hey, we love it. Do it, Indy. We are the premier sponsor of the event. And actually, myself and Tolan here, we will be on hand to MC the entire night. So it's going to be a fun night. This is a party that is not to be missed. Lots of PBRs drunk that night. Yeah, <laughs> there will be. Hey, but the six bands that are going to be playing there are... Uh, yeah, Coping Method, Jeremy Johnson and the Bleeding Keys, 
also the American Knight, uh, Grace at Arms, Eyes on Fire, and the Red Wire. So I had to read those, of course, there, because so, there's so many. But for six bucks, that's a great deal. Yeah, you got it. You know, so hey. Check it out. You can purchase tickets at Ticketmaster.com or RickyLeePots.com. Uh, or you know, this week, oh, we're going to be giving away some right, tickets, right. too, so stay Man, tuned. Don't forget that. Yeah, check out our Facebook and uh, Twitter pages for some free tickets to 6 for 6. So there you go. Uh, for more information, RickyLeePots.com. And you can also find him on Facebook and Twitter. So number one, six bands for six bucks. And as always, check us out on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. Do it in the all one word. And on DoItIndy.com. Thanks a lot, Indianapolis. As always, stay urban. And until next we get out and do it in. Do it in, do it in, do it in.